Hotep Hotep, my name is Lord Yukili Osai, Anu Ra, Elohim, Mira Mor, so, uh, uh, El Shaddai, you know what I'm saying? More power, more light, more honor, more more um grace, you know what I'm saying? Um Nega Serpent God, um Van Kim Akashic Records, you know what I'm saying? Many names, many vibrations, many uh vibrational hertz, many waves. My names are just waves and frequencies that, you know what I'm saying, that I change into from time to time, you know, but I want to welcome you back to 13 Cosmic Law Astrology in the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Life for some more information and light codes. Now, today I'm going to be talking about an esoteric secret in the Bible, all right? The esoteric passage in the Bible where, where Christ ascended into the sky, right? But before he left, he gave his message to his disciples. And he said, where I'm about to go, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go where I'm about to go, you know what I'm saying? You can't come right now. You can't come where I'm about to go right now. But where I'm about to go, you see that I bind up all powers of evil. I bind up all powers of Satan. I bind up all powers of Lucifer. I bind up all powers of Abigor. I bind up all powers of Asmodeus. I bind up all powers of Leviathan. I bind up all powers of Mammoth. I bind up all powers of Beelzebub and cast them all out to the bottomless pits. Satan, you must flee. All evil energies must flee. I banish you and cast you out to the bottom of this pit. And the power and the authority of my immortal soul. Flee now. So um, as I was saying, right? Um, when when he told him, he said, Where I'm about to go, you can't come yet. You know what I'm saying? But in my father's house, but I'm gonna say in my mother father's house, you know what I'm saying? There's there's many mansions. There's many mansions, all right. And then Christ ascended into the sky. That was his last little shit. But he said, go into the upper room. Stay in Jerusalem and go into the upper room and wait for the Holy Spirit. Remember that? Remember that? All right, now that's what we're going to be talking about today. Of course, I'm on my Beethoven game. You hear the Beethoven right there. Man, I'm on my Beethoven game. I'm going to start doing a lot of videos with Beethoven. You know what I'm saying? So today we're talking about... You know what I'm saying? The the uh the father's house, the mother father's house in, in the heavens where there's many mansions. That's what we're gonna talk about. So let's take the word mansion and let's let's put the word house there. There's many houses, there's many mansions, all right. But let, let us not get caught up or let us not get sensitive over certain words. When he said that there's many mansions, that there's many houses, there's many paradigms. And I told you what a paradigm is. A paradigm is a thought. A paradigm is an ideology. But you have to build on that thought. You have to create your own mansion. You have to create your own matching. You know what I'm saying? On that thought. You know what I'm saying? One thought can be a paradigm can be safety. That's the that's the that's the premises. That's the foundation of your paradigm. Safety. You see what I'm saying? That's the that's the premises of your of your of your uh, paradigm safety. Now, with that being spoken, right safety. Now, what you have to do is you have to expound on that. You have to build on that safety. You have to continue to build on that. You know what I'm saying? So you might go and get get little different um, uh, weapons from here and there, or you create your own weapons. Like in the Bible, they say, "No weapon formed against me shall prosper." The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous runneth into it, and they're safe. Um, I will look towards the hills from which coming forth my help. God is a very present help in a time of trouble. You can just continue to repeat that. I'm more than a conqueror. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm the I'm above and not beneath. I'm the head and not the tail. You know what I'm saying? You you can just continue to repeat those paradigms of the Bible. And what happens is you're building on that safety. You know what I'm saying? So that whenever your danger comes in this world in this world that we're in, you can escape and go into your paradigm. You're matching. Your place where you architecturally designed for yourself. You see what I'm saying? Well, I create a lot of affirmations and paradigms myself. You know what I'm saying? In fact, I was just watching um, Lord Nature's video and he gave a shout out to me. And I want to I wanna say thank you, God, for doing that. And I call you, God, because you know thyself. You know what I'm saying? But he gave a shout out to me. And, and I was surprised because not too many people actually watch my videos. I got a, a video full of affirmations called The Healing Pool and another video called uh, Remarkable Uploads. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I thought that a lot of people would sleep on those videos. And I called it Remarkable Uploads. Re means to return back to. Markable means to mark the action of marking something and then uploading. Uploading all kind of, you know what I'm saying, positive affirmations in your head. 
what I'm saying? That was the whole objective of the remarkable uh, uh, uploads. And then, you know, the healing pool was basically, you know what I'm saying? I am healing. I am. It was just all kind of affirmations to restore every system in your body. Dealing with your red blood cells, your white blood cells, your cognitive system. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with the organs in your body. Dealing with your vitality and essence. Both of those uh, two videos, you know what I'm saying, was dealing with all kind of affirmations. And I didn't think a lot of people was watching those videos. But uh, Lord Nettert, you know what I'm saying, he told me that he got back to classical music. He had his earplugs in. He was listening to classical music, and um, he told me that he uh, that he had actually watched both of those affirmation videos, and that that really touched my heart, man. To let to, to let me know that people are actually people are actually watching these videos, people are actually watching my videos, and people are actually you know really enjoying my videos. So um, so with that being said, you know um, I'm just very grateful. I'm just very grateful for all of the love and the support that I get from my, from all of you. Know what I'm saying my brothers and sisters out there. Basically, what I do, right? If if you are attracted to me, that means you are a creator. That means you are a creator. If you come to me, like if if you if you if you raise your vibrations up high enough to where you you on my channel, you know what I'm saying you on my vibrational wave, then that means you are a creator. That's what that means. That means you are a creator because everything I deal with is is helping you rediscover who you are to help you get back on your awakened path you know what i'm saying and to discover that you are a creator that you have to start manifesting things and i give you all kind of esoteric knowledge and all kind of secrets because i love you you know what i'm saying and i want you to survive and I'm, I'm a firm believer that everyone has a right to see everyone has a right to know what's going on you see what i'm saying and so with that being said you know what i'm saying um when he said in my in my father's house there's many many mansions he was talking about christ consciousness once you reach a christ consciousness and you realize who you are and you start creating then the many mansions or the many houses that he was talking about were paradigms you can create paradigms in fact you were placed on this earth to create paradigms many mansions and many paradigms you were placed on this earth to create them you see what i'm saying you were placed on this earth to create them now I'm giving you, you know what I'm saying, a lot of esoteric secrets. I gave you the, the secrets to get into, into the higher dimensions. It's sun gazing. But you got to raise your vibrations up to match the rays of the sun. So as the sun rises, the first hour as the sun is rising, or the last hour as the sun is setting, if your vibrations is high enough, you will rise with the sun and end up in a different in a different realm. Or you will set with the sun and end up in a different realm. I gave you the esoteric knowledge of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I gave you a lot of esoteric knowledge about the fluorite rock, right? I gave you a lot of esoteric knowledge about the quartz crystal. I gave you a lot of esoteric knowledge behind, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, the amber, right? Today I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to be talking about the rose quartz. I'm going to be talking about certain uh, uh, crystals. I'm going to be talking about certain clusters too. I'm going to be talking about certain clusters of crystals today, too. I'm going to be talking about a lot of different esoteric knowledge. Why? Because I'm a firm believer that everyone has a right to see. Everyone has a right to know what's going on. Matter of fact, I would do this for you because I love you. Got the per unk right here. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has a right to see and everyone has a right to know. So when Yahshua said, in my, in my mother and father's house, there's going to be, uh, uh, and there's many mansions. He was talking about a Christ consciousness. Once you reach Christ consciousness and you really, and you begin to realize who you are and you start walking in your authority, you know what I'm saying? Then, then, then you realize that everything in this universe is at your, at your beck and command. And not only that, but you can create paradigms. You can create your own sphere of realities like like an example right i'm i'm hurting i'm holding a fluorite rock fluorite and it's, un it's a unique one it's unique you see that that's like a merkaba by itself you know what i'm saying it's very unique right here a lot of um architectural architectural designs they have a lot of when they build structures they put this in glass they put fluorite in glass they put fluorite in um in building structures you know what I'm saying a lot of master masons and a lot of Illuminati members they they use the fluorite. In fact, they said that this is the portal into Atlantis, and that this fluorite is very magical. This is the the portal into Atlantis, and that this is the portal into Lemuria. This fluorite, and I'm gonna be talking about 
know what I'm saying? The um the esoteric knowledge of these crystals. Because now it's time for you to know what these clusters mean. It's time for you to know what these clusters mean. So you might look at these crystals and you be like, you think that you bigger than these crystals. You look at these little ass rocks and you think that you bigger than these rocks. But in reality, these rocks are way bigger than you. You know what I'm saying? You just know you just need to have enough power, enough energy inside of you, yin yang energy inside of you to yield the power of this of this fluoride crystal or this this quartz crystal cluster or this cluster right here or the amethyst. You need to have you you need to, to have to know how to actually yield the power to unlock the benefits of the of these rocks because I can say a certain word and or a certain certain uh in, in a certain frequency or certain pitch and make this amethyst, you know what I'm saying, project a whole world for me. I can go into Atlantis with this right here. I could go into Lemuria with Lemurian with this right here. I can go into different worlds and civilizations with this right here. That's why when you look at when you look at old school, when you look at cartoons and shit like Dragon Ball Z or certain certain like martial artists kind of J Japanese anime, when you look at some of their cartoons and shit, you will see, man, they be dropping serious light codes on your eyes. They be dropping serious light codes on your ass, but you don't be waking up. You ain't you. You've been on your sleeping path for a long time, and now that you're on your waking path, you know what I'm saying. You gonna start noticing all of that shit. You gonna be like, all right, I know what he was talking about now. You would see, you know what I'm saying, that they'd be losing his shit, right? And then all of a sudden, dude, to dig into his pocket and come out with the crystal. He come out with the crystal, and and, and then he would say a certain word, and then you would see like the whole world change, like the whole battlefield change, like it's like. 360 degrees and and he you know what I'm saying and he going to a whole nother realm and shit where he just safe and he meditating and he getting all kind of energy and shit right and then he come back out of this world and then he back in the battlefield and now we ready to smash and he kicking ass he's smashing this shit and you like how the fuck did he get that energy but you didn't see him when he put put out the crystal and he said a few words and he went into his paradigm he went into his world where he energized up real fast and then came back on their ass. You know what I'm saying? Way stronger. So I'm going to be talking about these rocks. I'm going to be talking about the benefits of these rocks. I'm going to be talking about these rocks. I'm going to be talking about the benefit of these rocks. I'm going to be talking about how to yield these rocks and, and, and the importance of, you know what I'm saying? The importance of, of, uh, of these rock properties. You know what I'm saying? Don't look at these little ass rocks like they little ass rocks. Don't look at a, a amethyst cluster like it's a little ass amethyst cluster. Don't look at it. Don't look at this fluoride rock like it's just a little ass fluoride rock. Cause it's 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 way more bigger than that. The magic that this rock possesses is is it encourages innovation and invention. Do you know some of the most geniuses of this world has always worn this rock around him? Albert Einstein, Edison, all of them, the biggest inventors that you know of your day, they wore this rock on their body and on their upper body. You got to get you a fluoride rock and start walking around with it in your upper body, dealing with the yin energy. I told you, from the waist down deals with the yang energy. From the waist up deals with the yin energy. I bind up all powers of Satan. I bind up all powers of Vigaris. I bind up all powers of Andres. I bind up all powers of... Um, Melon, I bind up all powers of melon and cast them all out to the bottomless pits. I bind up all powers of Alpha Gore and all leeches commanded by them and cast them out to the bottomless pits. You have no authority here. I banish you in the power of my immortal soul. Flee and never return. So, you know, um, so I'm talking to you about these rock properties, all right? It also helps in planning and co coordinating resources. Resources. You know what I'm saying? The key words to unlocking this fluoride is coordination, innovation, inspiration, and believe it or not, help. Help. Saying the word help will unlock the power of this right here. But there's other frequencies that you can say too. There's other frequencies that you can say too to tap into this fluoride right here. This fluoride supports... Um, healthy bone tissue and physical uh, structures of all organs. It helps us to master physical skills and improve dexterity and balance. It encourages a sense of self-worth. It facilitates its submissions, uh, assimilations. It's a, it facilitates 
assimilations of new ideas and and understanding of fine levels of awareness the practical ideas of this fluoride crystal place a large fluoride crystal or cluster in a study or a workplace to help ordinances it, it'll help you with being orderly being orderly remember in the bible it's an esoteric secret to say all uh uh uh, uh god is a god of order uh all god is a god of order and all things must be done decently and in order this this will help you get your shit in order this fluoride rock will help you get your priorities in order you know what i'm saying it deals with order order orderliness place place this rock in you know what i'm saying in your study place in your workplace place this crystal you know what i'm saying in in in, in your home and it, and it will help you get your shit in order you know what i'm saying place the floor right beside your bed to help you find new ideas and solutions while you sleep you write your shit down whatever you want to know write it down on a piece of paper and, and and go to sleep with this under your pillow or by your side when you wake up you're gonna have all of the answers you're gonna have all of the answers because when you go to sleep you're pure energy when you go to sleep forget the body don't get caught up in the body when you go to sleep, you're pure energy. The energy leaves the body. The body is behind. You're now in this fluoride. You're in a world. You're in the realm of Atlantis. You're in the realm of Lemuria. You're in this fluoride crystal. When you come out, you're going to have all of the answers. How do you think they learned how to invent the, the light bulb and time and all of that shit? It was this fluoride. Albert Einstein walked around with it on his upper body. He put it in his upper pocket. He had it in his pocket, on his upper body. Listen, you want to walk around with a fluoride crystal on your upper body because it deals with yin energy. Not the lower body, which is yang energy, but the upper body, which is yin energy. The primordial dork energy. The god, the energy of the gods and the immortals. This is what you want to walk around. You want to walk around with this, this on your body. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Because when you do that, it's gonna it's gonna improve your coordination skills. Why do you think a lot of martial artists wear the fluoride? Believe it or not, this is one of the most powerful crystals that you will ever want to have in your whole entire life. This fluoride crystal is the most powerful crystal you will ever want to have in your whole entire life. You can get you can go outside by the sun and say a certain frequency. You ain't gotta say a word, but you can say a certain tone. A certain tone and, and and it will unlock this floor right and you will turn into a whole nother realm where now you can interact with different mystical beings that's how magical and mystical this should be this floor right is this floor right so we're gonna be talking about clusters we're gonna be talking about certain clusters certain crystals we're gonna be talking about a, a, a lot of different things today because I'm, I'm tired of people underestimating shit. I'm not tired. I'm energetic. But you know what I'm saying? Listen, don't don't underestimate these rocks and you thinking that you bigger than these rocks. You don't realize that these rocks is bigger than you. This this little rose quartz crystal right here can o open. You can say a certain word, a certain frequency, not even a word, but a certain certain tone. You can project a certain tone and this and this and this and if you have enough energy inside of your body to yield the power of this crystal then this crystal will project a world full of crystals it will project a world full of crystals that's what this crystal will do and then you can go into this world it's like a whole plane of existence where it's nothing but crystals all over the place and different angelic beings and shit and you there you like dang i never even knew that this existed that's how powerful these little crystals are. Don't think that you're bigger than these crystals. These crystals are bigger than you. But because you're in this holographic reality, everything in this holographic reality is an illusion. It's all about how, how are you going to create your illusions and what are you going to do to master this universe and this incarnation that you're in right now. You see what I'm saying? So I kicked this, this, this knowledge right here that you know I'm saying at this mystery school called the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light. Because I want you to, I love you and I want you to see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's a reason. Look at some of those commercials, those cartoons and shit. When they be fighting, bam, 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 bam. And dude be getting his ass kicked. And then he just go and grab his crystal. 
He go and grab his crystal and he say a certain thing. I shout out Pata I see Kata Pati. You know what I'm saying? And then you will see like the whole world turn around and shit. You will see the whole world turn around and shit. And for a moment, he'll be in a whole different realm. He'll be in a whole different dimension. He'll be in his paradigm. In my in my in my father's house, there's many matches. He'll be in one of them many matches. Recollecting himself. Drinking tea. Fucking meditating. You're like, damn, you was in an all-out battle getting your ass kicked. How, how did you just turn around, flip the script, and now you in this place drinking tea and shit? You know what I'm saying? So fucking cross, crossing his legs, sitting down, crossing his legs, meditating and shit, drinking tea, incense burning and shit. You like how the fuck you get there? He healing himself. He healing himself. He in his paradigm. The rock helped him escape and get into his paradigm. You know what I'm saying? And then once he get rejuvenated and shit, and he replenished, he got his energy back. Then you know what I'm saying? He had said certain hasha hatun. He had let here release. The pit, him, he'll release himself from the paradigm And then you will see You know what I'm saying this, The whole world flip around again And then he'll be back on the battlefield and shit And then he'll start kicking dude ass And you'll be like what the fuck just happened We're living in a holographic reality Nigga 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 serpent nigga serpent Nigga serpent nigga serpent Nigga serpent Nigga, nigga God, nigga God, nigga God, nigga God, nigga God. We're living in a holographic reality. Everything that you see is an illusion around you. Are you going to start creating your illusions? Are you going to start creating your illusions? Or are you going to continue to be in their matrix? I told you. You know what I'm saying? You made the shift in consciousness. I've already brought you into one of the, uh, and a lot of these different homes. A lot of these mansions, you are already in these mansions now. You just got to put more energy into it. Carl Newton said, where your attention goes, the energy flows. You got to put more energy into you being a Nephilim, you being a giant. That's one of the matches. You know what I'm saying? You look at me and you think that you see me. You don't see me. I'm infinite feet tall. I put a lot of energy into the Nephilim paradigm, to the giant paradigm. So when a person look at me and they be like, oh, you little dude. And then they feel my power. They be like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I thought, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I'm infinite in height. If I tell you I'm 10,000 feet tall, that's how tall I am. Whatever I attach my eye into, that's how tall I am. Z Infinity dropped some knowledge. And he, and he did some research. And he talked about a person being a slave and a false entity. He said that the human being was the equivalent of a person. And a human being is also, you know what I'm saying, an individual. And the individual is also a human being. And the human being is also considered a person. So he said, what do you consider yourself then? A after that, after knowing that all of that shit turns back, uh, even a human being comes back to being a slave, then what do you consider yourself? You are whatever you attach your, your I am to. Just like Eminem said in one of his raps, I am whatever I say that I am. And if I wasn't, then why would they say that I am? Newspapers and reporters always say that I am. You got it. Whatever you attach your I am to, that's who you are. If you attach your, your I am to, I am a, a Nephilim giant and I am 20,000 feet tall, then that's who you are. You're a Nephilim giant and you're 20 feet tall. If you attach your I am to, I am a Naga serpent, I am a Naga dragon, then when people see you, they're going to see you as a Naga dragon. That's how mystical this shit is. This shit is mystical, yo. This shit is mystical. When you when you when you come here to 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light, you you come and you're 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 tuning yourself into a frequency of the Elohim. This is the omniverse energy right here. This is the omniverse energy that I'm giving you. I'm kicking this omniverse energy to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm kicking this omniverse energy to you. That's what you're getting right here at 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light. I'm kicking this information to where if you was to walk with me, you know what I'm saying? Because I keep a, a, a pocket full of crystals with for different reasons and different purposes. If you was to walk with me, right? If you was to walk with me, right? If you was to walk with me, we walking down the street and shit, and you might come up with against a little situation. A little crossroads situation or some shit. Right? 
And because I'm Elohim, I got the ability to create illusions using the ether etheric gases. And because I've already navigated as a more navigator, I've already navigated into higher states of consciousness. I just go into one of my pockets, collect one of my crystals, say a certain little chant, and change the atmosphere. Look, I've created paradigms where I can go inside. I can, I can, I can pull out. I can pull out my zebra, my zebra crystal. See the zebra stones and shit. I can pull out my zebra stone, right? Say a certain thing and create a different realm. Project a certain realm so that when we go into the restaurant, you thinking that everything is free, but you thinking that you in America. Listen, you're not in America. We're in a whole different realm. You ain't never been to this realm before. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 everything that you're seeing is a projection out of this crystal. You ain't never been in this realm. And we just eating and we having a great time. Same thing I told you. Go and get you some Motivite. Go, go and get you a Motivite crystal. It looked like a deep forest green. Go and get you a Motivite. Because that Motivite is, is a meteor that came from, from Pallades. You can communicate with the Pallades through the Motivite. All kind of extra, extraterrestrial and ultra-terrestrial communication go down through that Motivite. Use that to create a paradigm. Then when you get into a situation, you can use the unlock the, the, the a projection or unlock your paradigm with the crystal. Which create a Q word, a certain Q word to program your crystal. So that when you get into a situation, you can escape into your paradigm. And the energy from the rock property, the crystal, is going to help you get into that. And it's going to project the image for you. I can go places with certain crystals and project images. I could go to certain places with certain crystals. I pull out the the toy craze crystal on their ass. I pull out a J. I pull out a J crystal and project a certain image. It's all illusions. I pull out a, a, a because I've created a paradigm for Jade. I've created a paradigm for toy craze. I've created a paradigm for tiger's eye. I've created a paradigm. For the zebra crystal, I've created a paradigm for the quartz crystal. I've created a paradigm for the fluorite. A paradigm. A whole world, a whole magic. So that when I get somewhere, I can unlock the paradigm with a certain keyword. And now we're in a whole different illusion that I've created. You see what I'm saying? So that when we get into this restaurant and we eat and everything and shit, you like, where the money at? Hold on. In this world, it ain't no money. Our currency is kindness. There is no money. It's just you be kind to someone and somebody will be kind to you. It's all about creating paradigms. And it's all about putting energy into these paradigms. In my mother's father's house, there's many matches. That's what Christ said. Then he ascended. Listen, I'm all about ascension. I'm real big on ascension. That's why I told you, go and get you some artwork. 13. That reflects what's going on inside of you. Look at this. Look at these pieces of art. All of this is reflecting what's going on inside of me. Go and get you some artwork. 13. That's reflecting what's going on inside of you. Look at all of these pieces of ascension and Merkaba and all of that. Chakra tuned up and all of that. Go and get you some. Go and get you some artwork that reflects what's going on inside of you. That's the esoteric secrets about art. Look at that. Look at look at the Kudalini. Look at look at the Merkaba light body, the ascension. Look at the Merkaba. Look at these pieces of art. Look at that tree of life. You know what I'm saying? Look at the man ascending. Light bodies. Light bodies, baby. Merkaba. Look at that per unk at the top. You see the eye rata, who eye ra. Look at the Kudalini energy rising up the spine. The 33 vertebrae right there. Remember I told you take the tag off of the back of your uh your uh your 33 vertebrae because the 33 vertebrae right here is connected to your third eye, your pineal gland. See that where the snake is at the 33 vertebrae. Take the tag off of the back of your shirts and shit. Sit you. You see that? Look at them. Look at that artwork, man. Every day I look at these this, this because it reflects what's going on inside of me. That's the esoteric secrets between, but behind giving you a pair of art. That's why you go to certain um, 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 beings, homes, and they got certain artwork and shit. 
and you can look at the art and tell a lot about a person. They got art that's dealing with sexuality, then you know that they're very sexual and sensual. If they got art dealing with warrior and shit, then that's where they at right now. You know what I'm saying? People collect collect things for a reason. They collect guns and collect, you know what I'm saying, African masses dealing with warrior and shit and spears and shit. You know, don't fuck with them people. You see the motherfucking samurai with swords on the wall, don't fuck with them. Because in that paradigm, there if there's a paradigm for them that will eat your shit up alive if you ain't ready for it. Stop fucking with people if you're not ready for it. You know what I'm saying? So I want you to go and get you some crystals, man. Look, this is a real good book. It's worth the investment. It's called The Essential Guide to Crystals by Simon and Sue Lilly. My ancestors led me to this book right here. And then this other book, I don't really like it, but it's helpful. It's called The Crystal Bible 2 by Judy Hall. It's very helpful too. It's helpful. It got some good shit in it, but it ain't fucking with this crystal right here with The Essential Guide to Crystals. My ancestors led me to this one right here. And then my woman, she got me this one right here. You know what I'm saying? Go and get you this book right here. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to up you up on game on all of the crystals. This is a good book too though. But this the one. This the one. Go and get you a book on crystals. So you can find out what these rocks is all about. Once you find out the magical powers of these rocks. Then you can create your own paradigm. A, a paradigm is a thought. It's just a thought. It's an idea. It's an imagination. It's a philosophy. Christianity is a paradigm. Islam is a paradigm. That's just an expounded paradigm. You know what I'm saying? That's why I told you, you got to clear your mind from all that old shit that you was programmed with. How you clear your mind? With old programs. That's why I told you, stop watching TV because all of the TV is just different programs that they running off of your Merkaba. Stop allowing these motherfuckers to, to program your Merkaba with they shit. Go out to the water. That's an esoteric pop, uh, uh, esoteric secret in the Bible when it says, you know what I'm saying, and the Lord leaded me beside the still waters and restored my soul. It's by the still waters. You got to go to the water. You got to go to a body of water and sit there and listen to classical music and, and continue to say, my mind is renewed. I free my mind from all evil energies. I free my mind from all demonic programs. I free my mind and clear my mind from all evil programs. I delete all evil programs. My mind is clear. My neuro system is clear. My neocortex is clear. My my uh, midbrain is clear. You got to clear your mind from all of that program shit that they put on, on through your central processing unit from when you watch TV. They're programming your shit. Then you going out into society and you thinking about the shit. So you manifesting that shit. You manifesting for them. You they write out a script, which is the television program. They they you they upload it through your eye gate to your central processing unit. And then you go out and you will that shit into existence. Thinking about it, putting emotions behind that shit. They come out with the criminal minds, with the CSI, with the uh with the law and order. All that bullshit on the news, them is all scripts. All of that shit is fake. Everything you see on the news is fake. That fake ass shooting at that school, Sandy Holmes, man, that shit has been several reportings about. Uh, uh, none of that shit was even real. Parents that, that had children there came out and said, man, it was never a shooting at this school. All that shit was fabricated. All that shit be fabricated. It's all an illusion. It's a script. That's why I told you, you need to start writing your script. Get you a mead composition book and start writing your life out. Write your shit out. Stop following a script because guess what? You're manifesting for them. You're manifesting their script for them. You're making their script become real. Now you wonder why zombie bitings and serial killers and all of this shit is happening and popping up on the planet Earth. It's because you was watching Criminal Minds and motherfucking Law and Order and all of that shit. And now in real life, you're starting to attract that into your sphere of reality. You're following their script. Just like in the Bible, write the vision down and make it plain. Get off of that shit. Stop allow allowing the motherfuckers to tell lies to your vision and program your central processing unit. Go out to a body of water. And, be, and the Lord leaded me beside the still waters and restores my soul. Restoration takes place at the water. 
Even they tell you songs. Sitting at the dock of the bay. You know what I'm saying? They tell you they make stories by the water. They make they make old fork lord fork old fork lord songs. And all kind of shit was made by the water. Some of the best poetry was made by the water. Go down to a body of water, a beach, an ocean, a river, a lake, a pond, whatever, and clear your mind out. Get your mind clear from that shit. Stop watching TV. Look, if you've been watching TV, it's not a big deal. You can stop right now. Just stop right now. Just turn turn this shit off. Just turn it off until you can rewire your mind. Just turn off the TV for a while. And then you start writing your script. See, I can write a script. I can write a script, you know what I'm saying, that would change everything around me. We got to start writing our own scripts. Grab you a me composition book and start writing your shit down. Because that's all they doing. They writing scripts down. What do you think a movie is? It's a movie script. What do you think a song is? It's a, it's a script. That's why I tell you, start listening to classical music. Why? Because of the instruments that they're playing, the violin, the piano, you know what I'm saying? All of the different, the harp and all of that. Those are instruments that stimulate different, you know what I'm saying, dimensions in your brain. It unlocks different dimensions that you didn't have access to. Listen, what you need to do is you need to start listening to some positive affirmations. I am love. I am healthy. I am confident. I can do all things. I can listen to some affirmations. And then after you listen to the affirmations, go and put on and listen to some classical music and let those thoughts serenade through your mind. Let those thoughts serenade through your mind. That's how you clear your mind up. Start listening to classical music. You know what I'm saying? Stop listening to low vibrational music and shit. I don't give a fuck about hip hop. Because listen, the more you listen to that shit, you're in their paradigms. You're in their dimensions. I'm trying to get you to create a reality for yourself to where money don't even exist. Money is a matrix. I look the reason why I'm finna do the God Store Media Group is because I have I have a, 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 a issue with the way this realm is being ran. So I'm finna all out attack that shit. Until I smash this wounded beast, I'm finna all out attack that shit. And I'm already a master. I'm already God. You know what I'm saying? I told you I go around with different crystals for different reasons. I can say something. I built a paradigm for this right here. There's a paradigm for this crystal already. This crystal is already programmed according to what I wanted to be programmed with. According to my intentions and my desires. This little tiger's eye rock is programmed according to my intentions and my desires. You know what I'm saying? This zebra crystal, all of these crystals are programmed according to my desires. Even this little small ass piece of jade. Quartz crystal, all of that. In my, in my mother father's house, there's many mansions, many rooms. Once you come into this Christ consciousness in which you are now, you're in Christ consciousness now. You know who you are. You know that you are a God. I've already told you. I call you God. I call you Goddess because you know thyself. I told you to go within. You went within. Now you start to, 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 to manifest. Go and get you a me composition book. And, and blue pen is how you write out the script. You write out what you want in blue pen to manifest. It gives life. If you want to write a contract, you write a contract in, in, in black ink. If you want to manifest love or money, you write in green ink. Love and money, you, you write in green ink. If you want to make a correction in your life, do you make a correction with red ink? Listen, you having relationship problems? Don't cuss them out and all of that dumb shit. Just go and grab you a red ink pen and, and write in red ink pen. Correct the, the mistake. Correct it. Correct it. You are the author and the finisher of your faith. That's why it says in the Bible that the Elohim is the author and the finish, finisher of your faith. Your whole life is a script. Your, your whole life is already been written. Author and finisher of your faith. That means your whole shit been written out. You got to start being a good player. Then you gotta, you've been playing the game for a long time. Listen, my message is for the 144,000. People who do not fucking play games, I'm not giving my energy to no gods. I told you in one of my last video, for the last some years, I've been smashing on their ass until I reached a place where I'm above them now. None of them motherfucking gods. I don't give my energy to no gods. I'm a god. I create. 
I create. I don't give my energy to no fake ass guys. If I do a deal with them, they got to show me the money first. Give it to me first. And then we can talk about some other shit. It's all about raising your vibrations, man. It's all about raising your vibrations. It's all about raising your vibrations. It's all about raising your vibrations. That's why I told you. That's why I told you. I said, listen, stop smoking cigarettes because everything in this world is mythical. All this shit is mystical. Everything around you is real mystical. Smoking cigarettes is a portal, it's like a realm. When, it, when the cigarette smoke come around you, it's like it opens up a realm where they can come in and, and be in the same room with you. Unless you come in, unless you escape into another paradigm. You gotta create a paradigm to where even the cigarettes can't affect you. To where even when you get around cigarette smoke, if you ain't got no sage, or if you ain't got no, you gotta go, you have to create a paradigm to where you can escape into your paradigm so even the cigarette smoke around you don't even affect you. That's how serious this shit is. This shit is so mythical. And it's a lot of shit going on that you can't see because the, you gotta you have to still develop the pineal gland. Once you once you unlock your third eye, your pineal gland, you'll be able to see the mystical shit that's around. You'll be able to see all of the different realms and dimensions and shit. And look, a word is even a word is interdimensional. You can say a certain word and place a motherfucker in a different realm. That's how mystical this world, this world is. It's real mystical. This world is very mystical. One moment. Nega God, Nega God. Stones, I love you. I do, moms. Cooney, what are you doing? I love you. I appreciate you. I'm doing the video. I do. I, I really appreciate you. I love you, alright? It's all mystical. Everything around you is mystical. Everything around you is mystical. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to go and get you a crystal book. Get you a crystal book. And work on your paradigms. Work on creating your paradigms. All right. Work on creating your paradigms. One one paradigm I gave you was the Nephilim paradigm. Nephilim. That's a paradigm. Then I gave you a, a conceited. You gotta start becoming conceited. When you conceited, you attract things. A conceited, a conceited mentality attracts everything. Everyone, listen, when, you, when you're not confident, you're the enemy of the universe. The whole universe is against your ass when you ain't confident. When you, when you start exuberating confidence, then the universe starts, you, you start, you're like a magnet. Every, everyone wants to be around somebody confident. That's what the conceited, that's what the conceited paradigm will do for you. The conceitedness or, or the, the narcissism is is what creates, is what makes you a magnet. You're like a strong magnet, a powerful magnet that attracts all kind of things, all kind of beings, all kind of situations and scenarios. Why? Because everything is attracted to confidence. The universe is running off of confidence. Commands. Commands. Listen, this is a command for you. Shouts out to uh, 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 Lord Nature 13. This is a command for you. I command that every being on this planet Earth will watch this video. I will it into existence. It is done. 
That's the command for you. That's the authority that we walking in. That's the Christ consciousness that we walking in. The emotions behind that. The word is God that creates the living word and the using the pointing of the finger. I command every being on the planet earth to watch this video. I willfully create a situation where every being will watch this video on the planet earth. It's done. It's, it's done. It's done. So I want you to start creating your paradigms. Create a paradigm where money doesn't exist. A parent create a whole world. That's what I'm saying. You gotta start creating a whole world, a whole civilization. Grab you a rock. Get into this crystal Bible. Get into this crystal book and find out the magical powers of this rock. You know what I'm saying? Find out the magical powers of certain rocks. Certain rocks. You know what I'm saying? Like the 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 uh solar light. The solar light, the magic of the solar light improves contact and communication with others. Can help the transmission of messages over vast distances. That's a good rock for tele, tele, developing your telepathic abilities. Or astral projection. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Key words to that is meditation, contact, and peace. Create. Grab some rocks. Grab, Get a rock. Look at the magical. You know what I'm saying? The magic behind this is symbolizes fresh starts, brings intentions to fruition. Whatever your attention is, it brings it to fruition. This is called a helio door. Go and grab you a helio door. Whatever your attention is, it brings it instantly brings it to it to fruition. It makes it happen right then and there. Go and grab you a helio door, a helio door crystal, and create a paradigm for it. Write out the paradigm. Grab grab you a me composition book. Get you a me composition book. And put in Hillier Door. Write down Hillier Door Crystal Paradigm. My this is my Hillier Door Crystal Paradigm. And then use your seven I M's. I mean your seven eyes. I am. I do. I feel. I see. I know. I will. I can. Use your seven eyes to to as a as as a command. That's how you command the universe. And write your script out for the Hillier Door. The the uh. The Helio door. Write your paradigm for that. You know what I'm saying? The my Helio door paradigm. This is my Helio door paradigm. And create your paradigm. Write it down. Create it. You know what I'm saying? In my Helio door paradigm, I willfully create. You know what I'm saying? And then architecturally design your whole world. Architecturally design it. Architecturally sit down and architecturally design your heliodor paradigm. Whatever you wanted. If you want beings who can fly, teleport, run at the speed of light, write that down. You know what I'm saying? I willfully create um, magical and mystical beings who can run at the speed of light, teleport, shape shift. You know what I'm saying? Astral project, such and such and such. The only currency in, in my heliodor paradigm is kindness. You know what I'm saying? Um, 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 in my Helio door paradigm, create a magical aspect to it. Create trees. There, there, there's a sun and moon that's constantly out with the stars. The sun never goes down. The moon never goes down. You know what I'm saying? Create a, a body of water. You know what I'm saying? There's a body of water. There's a forest. There's, you know what I'm saying? Such and such. There's a civilization of beings. Everyone worships me and my, create a magical element where the trees talk to you. The, 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 the sun, the moon talks to you. Everyone knows you. Create everything in your paradigm. Create the whole paradigm. And then put energy into this. Where the energy goes, the, the, the where the attention goes, the energy flows. The more attention you give to this, speak it. Read it out. Read it out to other people. Read your script to other people. That's the, the other key. It's where two or more are gathered, God is in the midst. That's how things create. When two or more are gathered. That's when God is in the midst. That's when creation takes place. So go and get somebody else who you trust and read out your script to him. Read it out. You know what I'm saying? This is this is the script that I got. This is the, a new world that I created. You have the ability to create these worlds. Create this world. And then how you gonna portal into the world? You, you know what I'm saying? You portal into the world when you when you grab your heliogram, heliodor crystal. You say a certain word, whatever word, you might put it in sacred language. You might say, Ashata. And saying Ashata means that you're now into this world. 
and then create a way that you want to portal into your world some dra dramatic shit. You might come into the out of the sky and end up into your world like a god. And then everybody see your power and shit and then they just amazed by you. Create your script. Write your shit down. Everything is a, is a script. Everything is a script. You need to start writing your script down. When you watch the news, stop following they shit. Stop following they script. You create your script. Stop following CSI and Criminal Minds and all of they scripts. Stop following they shit. You create your script. Everything is a script. You create your script. Create a way into your world. And the same way you enter into your world is the same way you exit out of your world. So, so you create an exit. You write it down. Write down in your script everything that you want to experience in your world when you get there. And when you get there, you're, everyone worships you. So when you walk around with your Heliodor crystal, people people look at the Heliodor crystal and they think it's just a small ass rock. But really, this is one of the worlds that you're God over. And you can allow people to come into your world. You can say, watch this, Ashadati. You know what I'm saying? And then you portal into your world with your new friend and shit. And, then, and the whole world opens up and they like, damn, this is some magical shit right here. This is some mystical shit right here. How'd you do that? That's what time, well, look, we're in the age of the Aquarius. The feminine energy is back on the planet now. That dark energy is back on the planet now. You know what I'm saying? That dark energy is back on the planet now. You need to get your act right. Go and get you some crystals. Get you a, get, get into one of these crystal bottles. Learn about these different rock properties and shit. Learn which one of these rock properties have certain different shit that, that, that you can work with metaphysically. And then create a specific paradigm for that rock. Create a specific paradigm for that rock. I got uh, several different paradigms just for the tiger's eye. I got a paradigm to where when I say a certain word for this paradigm, uh, for this for this tiger eye, if I say a certain word, then 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 I be I become a tiger. I become a tiger. If I say a certain sound, if I say a certain sound, you know what I'm saying? Then 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 then. Then I get certain kind of strength. There's different paradigms I created for the tiger's eye. You got to get the certain rocks that you know resonate with you. And then create, write a script for this shit. Write a script for it. Create a paradigm for it. Because in my mother and father's house, there's many mansions. Many, many paradigms. Many, many. Multiple mansions. Multiple houses. You got the ability, man, to create your own astral plane. Fuck trying to go to their astral plane. Fuck they astral plane. Create your own astral plane. Create your own shit. You're the God. Listen, if you're watching my show, I mean my channel is because you're into a frequency. That it's because you know that you are a creator. I don't give a fuck what level of creation you are. If if you a type of person where you're more into sex, then then you're dealing with the root chakra. The root chakra. That's good. We can talk about that. We're adults. We can talk about whatever whatever the fuck. If you're a sexual person, if you're sexual, you like sex. That's good that you like sex. You're not, it's nothing wrong with you because you like sex. Listen, you're perfect because you like sex. That's your thing, sex. You know what I'm saying? I like sex too. I just don't like it all the time, but when I like it, I like it. You know what I'm saying? I really like it. You know what I'm saying? So sex is the root chakra. It deals with grounding, stability, Physical needs, security, survival, manifestations in the material world. Everything that you want to manifest, you can manifest through sex. You just got to know your shit. So if your shit is sex, then you can, you're can. you dealing with the root chakra. You're dealing with kundalini energy when you're having sex. That's what you have to, to know. So when you have sex, you have to have an intention behind the sex. Get all kind of rocks to deal with sex. Get rocks to deal with sex. And use sex as an avenue to survive. Use sex as an avenue for stability, to create stability in your life, to create your physical needs. Whatever you physically need, you can fucking have sex and create it. You can create whatever you want in this material world. You can create a world through sex. You can have sex and be creating your world through having sex. You can create protection just through having sex. Whatever your thing is, just know what your thing is. If your thing is music, then use the music to create a world for yourself. Look, 
Write a script out. Grab you a certain rock. Grab you. Grab you a certain rock, a certain crystal, a certain, you know what I'm saying? And create a paradigm for this shit. Create a, create a paradigm for every one of your rocks. You're God. We ain't got to be in a realm. The reason why I want to do, the reason why I'm going to do the God Star Media Group is because I want to smash on that shit. It's because, you know what I'm saying? I want to smash on that shit. I want to watch they ass fall. I want to be a part of smashing this beast. That's the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. Cause I'm 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 I don't give a fuck. Nigga, 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 nigga. Nigga god, nigga god, nigga god, nigga god, nigga, 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 god, nigga 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 I just, I just put it up. I put up all kind of different um, affirmations, uh, um, because water is alive. Water is a living entity. So on this picture right here, I got, um, I got Mother, Father, God. Please look upon your messenger with love and grace. Please do not forget to be merciful with me. I am your servant, and I desire for you to purify my water. I love you, and I need you, Hotel. Then I put right here at the very top. I put, I am ultimately good for your system. Then I put joy. I am, I am a light being. I am infinite in joy. You give me great joy, water. Please be nurturing to my minds, bodies, spirits, hearts, and souls. I enjoy your company and energy. Remember I told you we got to start speaking right. You don't have just one mind. You don't have just one body. You don't have just one heart. You don't have just one one soul. You have many bodies, many hearts, many souls, many brains, many minds. One consciousness, but many minds. Just like when, when, when you're in this reality, you have a body, brains, heart, spirit, and soul. But when you when you become unconscious or when you when you when you go to sleep and you get in your subconscious mind, you in a different realm, you in a different body, a third body, an astral body. You have many bodies, many brains, many hearts, many souls, many spirits, many. So we gotta make this shit plural. We can't just put it singular and say mind, body, heart, soul, and spirit. We gotta say minds. We gotta put the S on the shit. It's plural, it's many. Many bodies, many minds, many hearts. We got to speak it the way it is. That's the beauty about what's going on right now with this veil lifting up. If the veil was lifted, you can go beyond it if you want to, or you can continue living dormant. It's up to you. It's up to you. Nega, nega, nega. Ah, oh, stones, pools, please. What do you think? Do you feel led that that's the one for me? You do? Um, Stoony, it's the it's a book on astrology I really need to get. Did you remember what it looked like? It's an astrology book. It's an astrology book. Nega, nega, nega. It's an astrology book that deals with um that deals with um it had the astrology wheel on the front of it. Remember the last one that we had that we walked up to, to the what you call it and I was like just put it back. That's the one, that's the one. Mega, mega, mega. Nah, it was it was a softback. It was softback, and they should have something in there on numerology. That story, I, don't, I can't believe that.
You just gotta look. Well, remember, remember what a tarot quartz is. But remember where we got the shaman quartz from, though. Remember when you came back towards the hour a little bit and looked down where we got the shaman quartz from? Or right in that area. That's where they got the numerology. I need a book on astral projection. I need I need a I need a book on astral projection and I need some shaman to a book on shamanism. The ruins, the caves, what's going on in the caves, and I need a um, I need a uh, I Yeah, I like that one. What's what's the name of that? If you shopping them, get them both. Uh. Uh. You can't. You can do all this. Nah, I would rather just get a tarot card and some summon shit. And, and I need that that specific book on astrology. Oh, I need pun songs. The what? Party the moon sun. What did, could you talk about more? This what, what did they talk more about it? What did they say? Open up the book and, and tell me what they talking about inside the book. Oh uh, yeah, get that one right there. You go for them, and then they got one on natal chart reading, astrological natal chart reading. That's what I really need. It's called what? What's that? talking about like I make I make 
What? Could you could you look at the tarot cards for me? Cuz I want to replace my animal cards and I want to replace my um Simon cards. I want to replace those animal cards, then. Which other ones do they have? Indigo Angels? What's the science of Mars and Indigo Angels? Yeah, I think I want that one. And what's the other one? Could you read what they talking about in those uh, or uh, in those oracle cards? some other ones you can't stop that can but just don't do it then. Nigga, 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 nigga. What's that? That one, I need that one. I need that tarot card right there for sure. Nigga, 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 nigga. What's the other one? I know, but what's what's the other cards that they? What other oracles do they have though? What's that? Mm -hmm. Why? Nah, fuck the United States. Nigga, nigga. Tell me about the moon, please. Why? It had to, about the, uh, what's the other one? Nigga, nigga. Nigga, 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 nigga. Should I get that one? Nah, what's other oracles do they got? What other oracles, my mind still in places? Huh? What's that? The oracle of what? What's the one on the Illuminati?
Mega God, Mega God, Mega God. Yeah, I think I want that one. For us. I want that one, Stanley Pussies. Why? Why not get the other one? Please do me, Pussies. Alright. Could you just go back and, and shop them? I will take me. I like you. You can, but say you can, but you just won't. Say I can, but I won't. Say I can, but I won't. All right, because you can do all things through Christ's consciousness who strengthens you, Philippians 4.13. Hold on, what other books? I just want to hear what books they got. I need a book. They got something on shamanism. I need shamanism shit. I'm not going to settle for something that I want. I need shamanism, numerology, and that bookstore, they got numerology. They got shamanism. What's life colors? And could you go inside one of the chapters and read some of the stuff? Okay, mama. What do they got on shamanism and numerology? Uni punzi and my boni sunis. Huh, mama? Stunis. Oh, what's that? What's the subliminal technology? I want to hear that one. What is? Could you read that? Could you open up the book though and read some of it? Or uh, read something else. Read look some chapters or something. Do they got Simon as a mama? Am I on Stony Unsy Ponzi? Dunce, Unce. 
Ooh. Are you my mama only points? You know? Do they have any other things on shamanism? I know they do. What's that? What's white? What's white spells? What's it? What's in it? Uh, no shamanism or no moralism, both. Stones boy me. I'm through with them. Fuck something. Else. All them guys, they be hating on me and shit. Ever since I've been kicking this God consciousness and shit, I've been going to war with them fake, fake guys, guys. Fuck you guys. I just manifest my own shit. I don't need them. creating gods that's what i do i'm making my own gods i got a i got an audience of gods that i look at every day that i you know i nurture i'm building gods i'm creating gods breathing life life into them yeah please all right love you students all right, goodbye. <laughs> so yeah, what I was saying, right, was that, oh, that's my woman right there. I sometimes I talk to her like a baby, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, she was at Barnes and Nobles giving me some new books, some new books and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, man, you know, I'm, I'm getting my shit together, man. I don't have no time for no games. I don't have no time to be playing around. I don't have no time, none of that shit. I don't have no time. You know what I'm saying? I'm kicking this knowledge. I love you. All right? Look, I want you to come back and get me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want you, once you get there, come back and get me, man. You know what I'm saying? Come back and get me, man, because I'm I'm gonna stay back a little bit so I can just keep smashing on that shit. You know what I'm saying? But don't leave me down here. Once you once you once you create your shit, come back and get me. You know what I'm saying? Don't leave me down here. But yeah, man, um, you know, um, that's what, that's what time it is. It's all about creating your own shit. So I'm going to be talking to you over the course of, you know what I'm saying, these next few months. And, 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 you know, while I'm putting together the God Store Entertainment Group, you know, um, I gave a, a, a call, a, a shout out and, um, and I, I, I really enjoy the response. You know, um, one of my favorite people hit me up and she told me that she got the land that we can come to. You know what I'm saying? We can start building our new Atlantis. You know what I'm saying? Which is which, which is really not going to be a new Atlantis. It's just going to be a new world. We're going to create a new world. You know what I'm saying? And and, and we, we have the ingenuity to do it. And we're going to stay in this realm and we're going to smash in this realm. And we're going to create a new world. And we gon' and we gonna be the gods of that world, just like they call themselves the so-called elites of this world. Well, I'm taking my elite word back. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking that elite word back. I'm telling you how to create your own shit. I'm finna I'm finna go into actually creating worlds. I'ma actually go into creating worlds using color, using color schemes, using number schemes, using everything. I'm finna go in. Look, I believe everyone has a right to see. So listen, what I'm finna be doing. Is I'm finna be telling you how to do it. I'm finna be showing you how to do it. I want you to stay tuned. Because listen, you go grab you a rock that you know resonate with you, right? And then you program that rock. You create a paradigm for that rock and put energy into it. 
where the attention goes, the energy flows. Where your attention goes, the energy flows. You see what I'm saying? And the more attention you pay into your paradigm, writing out your script, putting energy into it, speaking life to it. And we created man in our own image and we brave and, and bra braved our, our spirit into him. You know what I'm saying? You got to create. You got to create it in your own image. What do you think art authors do when they write books? All of the, 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 the characters in the book be created in their own image. You know what I'm saying? The author is actually making ca characters that, that mimic him, that's just like him. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're mimicking characters that's just like them. And then when they when they when they when they read the, the story to other people and shit, they're giving life to their characters. That's just like the Elohim when he created us. We we are a thought in somebody else's me composition book. We was written down and thought of. And somebody breathed life into us. Just like, you know what I'm saying? Some of my gods. They breathe life into me. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm breathing life into you. You know what I'm saying? And I came alive. I start, I'm like, oh shit, that's what this is about? Okay, let me go grab me a rock. Let me put a paradigm together for this. Masters of the universe, yo. We masters of the universe. That's what it's all about. Go and grab me some rocks. Go and get you some rocks to resonate with you. I did a video. I said the color of your eye is the color of the rock that you need to be uh, working with. I told you, pay attention to the rocks and the herbs to jump out at you. Some of you know you need to be dealing with ginseng. Some of you know you need to be dealing with uh, sage. Some of you know that you need to be dealing with sandalwood. Some of you know that you need to be dealing with um, zinc. Some of you know that you need to be dealing with maca root. Some of you know what kind of herbs that you need to be working with. Some of you secretly know that you need to be dealing with our Yoska. Pay attention to the to the to the plants and things that's popping out at you. Because, because they're 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 popping out for a reason. I gotta I gotta water my plant. color of your eyes the color of your eyes are the color of the rocks that you need to be working with simple as that that's the key it ain't gonna get no simpler than that whatever color your eyes is is the color of the rocks that you need to be working with you need to go to a rock store and you need to and you need to look at the different crystals that match your eye color and ask questions about each one find out information let the rock speak to you touch the rocks feel that the energy jumping out at you and shit pick it up and ask questions about the rock are you the rock for me you know what i'm saying let the rock speak to you allow yourself to feel the energy you gonna know which one of the rock. The rock is gonna choose you. You just gotta get there. When you learn information about the rocks and shit, they gonna they gonna tell you this one is for that. That's for this. This is for that. But go to the ones that reaches nega nega nega. Go to the ones that reach. That look, look. If if it's a if you got blue eyes, go to the the the, the blue rocks, the blue crystals. Rock stores. They got rock stars, crystal stores. They got their shit color schemed. Go to the, the rocks that this match that color. Nega, 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 nega. Nega, nega, nega. Nega, nega, nega. That match that color. And then ask them, what does this rock mean? Nega, 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 nega. Ask them, what does this rock mean? What does it mean? Nega, nega, nega. And let them tell you. And what resonates with you, grab the rock. Invest in the rock. These little rocks don't be costing that much money, man. One, two dollars. If you like me, you can use, you can manifest this shit. Go in there and trade. Look, try something different. Go in there and be like, you know what? I, I really, I know that I need to be working with this crystal. I don't have no money right now, but I'll give you this unk. I'll give you this in exchange for this rock right, these two rocks right here. I'll give you something. And then when I can come back to give you something more, I will come back if I can. We can even just, we need to put money out of the picture. 
We need to come back to it. You know what I'm saying? Is this of the, of the value of this rock? Can we trade? We need to start negotiating some, some other type of ways. Create some new shit. Create some new shit. Look, challenge the stat quo. That's what this is all about. Challenge they shit. Challenge the stat quo. Fuck the way they said that this got to be. We can create our own way. We can find our own. We navigate our own way through this shit. Go up in there with no money, but go up in there with something that's worthy enough of a trade. And trade what they ask for the rocks that you want. You ain't got to have no money. Go up in there with some shit that they, they, if you know, just know your audience. Know that they collect his tarot cards, his books, his rocks in there. Go in there with some books. And be like, look, can I trade you these books right here for some of these rocks, please? You know what I'm saying? Do some, do some, know your audience, do your research and shit, know what they into. Go in there with some sand. Go in there with some sand. Look, you can go to the to the beach and grab some sand. And then and then rake a that motherfucker. Rake the sand with your energy. And then go in there with some rake charged sand. And let them know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I may not have no money. But I got this rake charged sand. And you can do a ritual. You know what I'm saying? My family has been doing this ritual with this sand for a long time. If you put it right down an affirmation. Write down an affirmation. Write down. I I am a strong magnet and I willfully attract large sums of, of money into my sphere of reality from known and unknown sources. Write that on a piece of paper and then put it in the sand. Bury it in the sand and put the sand in a pouch and, and, and or hold it in a cool like container that deals with like sacred geometry, a wood like container and bury that affirmation, that thought in the earth. The sand is a representation of the earth. Go up in there with a, with a box full of sand and tell them that you can write any affirmation and put it in the sand. It's going to come true. It's going to ground it. That's dealing with the earth element. You got to go get creative. Fuck money. Minus the money. Go in there with some shit that's valuable to them. They collect books, they collect rocks, they collect magic shit, they collect, you know what I'm saying, go up in there with some shit that might be interesting to them, that might spark an interest. And then, you know what I'm saying, when you, when, and then, and then barter, negotiate. 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 I'm finna drop this last little shit on you right quick, alright? Because when you come into the higher dimensions, there's going to be a sun and the moon. I've been doing a series of different videos of the sun and the moon now. I don't know if you've been seeing the videos I've been popping up. But I've been showing you on, on several different occasions that the sun and the moon is out at the same time. Well, well, that's the paradigm that we need to start creating more and more of. We need to start saying that the sun and moon is out. I'm going to create a paradigm. We need to create collectively create a paradigm. We need to collectively create one paradigm. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and that's something that I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about creating a paradigm according to a rock. We're going to use the tiger's eye. We're going to use... We're going to use the amber. We're going to use the amber rock to create a paradigm. To create a paradigm. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use the amber rock to create a paradigm. All right? That's what we going to do. And then when we get the uh when, and, and we go we go we going to find a way to how we going to charge this paradigm. We going to protect it with all kind of sacred geometry and numerology. We going to protect our paradigm with sacred geometry and numerology so that can't nobody come and write our paradigms. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to do when you create your shit, you got to protect your shit. Don't just create something. Don't just use this heart rock you know what I'm saying? Or this moonstone, or this, or this calisite, or this citrine. Don't just don't just create a paradigm, but don't protect it. Don't leave it unprotected, because motherfuckers will find out where your shit is and raid your shit. You gotta protect it using sacred geometry, using you create guardians. Create guardians that will protect your shit. Create angels that'll protect your shit. Put some angels and spirit guides around your shit. Create entities that will protect your shit. Light forces that protect your shit. A solar system that protect your shit. So I'm about to go ahead and upload this. Shouts out to, you know what I'm saying, Kavmir, 13. Shouts out to Lord Netzer, 13. Shouts out to Z-Infinity, 13. Shouts out to, you know what I'm saying, um, 
um, um, um, Astral Solson, 13. Shouts out to, um, Astral Boo Baby, which is two different people, two different beings, uh, pardon me, 13. Shouts out to Astral Boo Baby, 13. Shouts out to, you know what I'm saying, um, T Guns. His name is, uh, 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 his name is Thomas Tyson. And I'm telling you, you need to drop that slave name and get you a God name. But I see you, God. I call you God because you know thyself. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to uh, Thomas Tyson, 13. You know what I'm saying? Nega, 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 nega. Shouts out to Empress uh, Shay, 13. Shouts out to the 13th son, 13. Shouts out to Hakeem Bay, 13. Shouts out to, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to uh, uh, Soul L Vibe, 13. Shouts out to Maria Doganez of the Devil, 13. Shouts out to Bertie Rodriguez, 13. Shouts out to the Kudalini, Kudalini Rising, 13. Shouts out to the Nagar Serpent, 13. Shouts out to the shouts out to Dr. Phil Valentine, 13. Shouts out to uh, uh, Zalacia M, 13. Shouts out uh, to uh, Dr. Phil Valentine, 13. Shouts out to the 13th Sun, 13. Shouts out to, you know what I'm saying, um, Bobby Hemmett. That's my teacher. You want to know... Where, who, who, one of the beings who I love the most in the whole world, Bobby Hemmett, 13. Shouts out to Bobby Hemmett, 13. Shouts out to, you know what I'm saying, um, Dr. Nepperu from New Knowledge, 13. Shouts out to Z Infinity again, 13. Shouts out to, uh, 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 uh Kishi, 32, 13. Shouts out to, uh, to Lord Netter again, 13. Shouts out to, uh, shouts out to, you know what I'm saying, Notice, notice, look, when, look, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you watch one of my teachers, God, when you watch Bobby Hemmett, when you watch God speak, he give a lot of image, uh, a, a lot of, uh, a lot of honor, a lot of homage to the ancestors and he'll pour out the water for him. He do not just him, but Dr. Phil Valentine, all of them. Malakazi York, all of them, they all do the same shit. Uh, shouts out to uh, Malakazi York, 13. Shouts out to the Anunnaki's, 13. Shouts out to the Palladians, 13. Shouts out to the Good Reptilians, 13. Shouts out to the Good Grays, 13. Shouts out to the Palladians, 13. Shouts out to the Dordics, 13. Shouts out to the Studies, 13. Shouts out to my Dragons, 13. Shouts out to the Unicorns, 13. Shouts out to the Planet Earth, 13. Shouts out to I'm a Mama, 13. Mother Nature, 13. Shouts out to the universe 13. Shouts out to the omniverse 13. Shouts out to the interverse 13. Shouts out to the ancestors 13. Shouts out to the good God bodies 13. Shouts out to the Merkaba activated 13. Shouts out to the third eye activation 13. Shouts out to the 33 vertebrae 13. The 33 vertebrae. That's why I told you start taking the tags off of the back of your t shirts because they putting sigil magic on the back of the 33 vertebrae to affect your third eye. Shouts out to alkaline water 13. You know what I'm saying? I put I put I put science science all over the place. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am smiling. I am alive. I am supercharged. I am nutritious. I am ultimately divine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I put poems and all kind of everything going even at the bottom of my picture. I put I am healthy. I am pure. I just wrote it on a piece of paper and taped it. I scrapbook my picture of water that I drink out of. That's how serious it is. Shouts out to the water 13. Shouts out to the fire element 13. Shouts out to the uh, air element 13. Shouts out to the earth element 13. Shouts out to the etheric element 13. Shouts out to our emotions 13. Shouts out to the feminine energy that's back on the planet 13. Shouts out to the age of the Aquarius 13. Shouts out to the um shouts out to the yang energy as well 13. Shouts out to the to the from the waist down 13, which is the representation of the masculine energy, the uh, uh, fire element, yang energy, you know what I'm saying, and solar light energy, 13. Shouts out from the waist up, which is a representation of the feminine energy, which is a representation of the yang, uh, I mean the yin energy, which is the feminine energy, um, the water element, and the primordial dark energy, 13. 13 to the star of David, 13. 13 to the diamond is forming in the sky, 13. 13 to all those who's manifesting, 13. 13 to the composition books in the blue ink, 
the red ink, the green ink, the black ink 13. Sass out to the blood, writing in blood to give corrections 13. Shouts out to the Alchemist 13. Shouts out to all those who are into Divination 13. Shouts out to the Pagan Perspective 13. Shouts out to Dragon Feather 3369 13. Shouts out to Wicked 13. Shouts out to Magic 13. Shouts out to Astrology 13. Shouts out to Rod Rod Um Hotep at 13 Signs Astrology 13. Shouts out to the Nephilims 13. Nega, 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 nega. Shouts out to Empress Shay 13. Shouts out to uh uh goddess uh lula bell 13 nigga 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 shout out to soul l by bay 13 shout out to you know what i'm saying shout out to this per up 13 the per up 13 shout out to the ancestors 13 shout out to kimmy 13 Shouts out to Kimmy 13. Shouts out to the Sun 13. Shouts out to the Moon 13. Shouts out to the Stars 13. Shouts out to the Chakras 2 Dep 13. Shouts Shouts out to you to, to to protecting your aura 13. Shouts out to the to numerology 13. Shouts out to uh uh the signs of colors 13. Shouts out to the right side of your brain, which deals with magic and mysticism 13. Shouts out to the left side of your brain, which deals with logic and reasoning 13. Shots out to the land 13. Shots out to the land 13. Shots out to the land 13. Shots out to Mother Nature 13. Shots out to Mother Earth 13. Shots out to, you know what I'm saying, to the Nephilim Consciousness 13. Shots out to the Paradigms 13. Shots out to the Crystals 13. Shots out to the Planets, to the Plants 13. Shots out to the Planets 13. Shots out to the Herbs 13. Shots out to the Plants 13. Shots out to the Animals 13. Shouts out to the to, to all those who are keeping the Sabbath day 13. Shouts out to Wicca 13. Shouts out to Oracles, the uh all spiritual definitions and, and oracles that are that are love and light 13. Shouts out to all those who are doing uh healthy sigil magic 13. Shouts out to supplements 13. Shouts out to Blue Green Algae 13. Shouts out to Omega 3, Omega 6, and Omega 9 13. Shouts out to eating these pumpkin seeds. Shouts out to eating these pumpkin seeds right here. 13. Shouts out to shirts off. Uh, uh, all those who took their shirts off and participated in shirts off day 13. Shouts out to Liz L uh Shouts out to um, the Supreme Dark Sun, Rael, 13. Shouts out to um, to Hootie from the Hell Store, one of my other teachers, 13. 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. 13 love, 13 pop, 13 respect. 13 knowledge, 13 know thyself. Listen, I'm going to lead you to yourself. You ain't going to be able to look at me and be like, oh, he, huh. I'm telling you, go within. Start going within. 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 13. 13 to everyone who went within. 13, 13 to everyone who's loving themselves. 13, 13 to everyone who was doing what they can to help other beings on the planet Earth. 13, 13. For we gonna kick the shit out of this wounded beast. 13, 13. If you took your word and leap back, 13. If you calling yourself elite, 13. 13 to the elite, to my elite family. 13, 13 to my elite family. 13, 13 to the per unk, 13. 13. 13 to the per um, 13, 13 to evolution, 13, 13 to evolving into a greater state of consciousness, 13, 13 to, into a, to a, 13 to the strong, to having a strong will, 13, 13 to manifestations, 13, 13 to evolving into a greater state of existence, 13.
13 if you listening to classical music. 13, 13 of Beethoven. 13. 13. 13 if you know how to dance and cha-cha. You know what I'm saying? 13. 13 if you know how to dance and cha-cha. You know what I'm saying? 13. 13 if you taking off your clothes, man, and walking around with your shirt off, coming back to your original vibrations and shit. 13. 13, we need a new beach. 13, we need to go to a new beach. 13, we need to we need to manifest a new beach. That's going to be one of my manifestations. I'm going to manifest a new beach. 13. And, the, and another thing, the way manifestation work, right, is that when you write your script down, you got to share it with people. You got to read it. You got to read it because you're giving life to it. And when two or more are gathered, God is in the midst. So when two or more have gathered, the yin-yang energy that creates everything is in the midst. And that's how you start creating. You just write it down. And then you read it off. You When you read it, your word is creating it. Your word, you put more energy into it. You speak in life into it. Just like when the Elohim created you. When he said, let us make man in our own image. And then they breathe their breath into us. And then that's when we woke up. We had spirit. You got to give spirit to your shit. You got to breathe your breath into it. You got to, your word got to create this shit. Your word, you got to write your script out and then speak about it, talk about it, think about it, and share it with other people. That's what's going to bring your paradigm alive. Share it with people that you know that you trust. Protect it with, with sigil magic. Protect it with certain sigils. I'm going to do a, a, a video on uh, sigils of protection that you can use that will protect you. Certain ancient sigils, you know what I'm saying? Certain ancient si sigils that are actually protect you. In fact, I'm going to give you one right now. I'm going to give you one right now. And I should have told her to, to, uh, to bring my uh, my black, my um, I got a, a board, a dry erase board. I should have asked her to bring one of my dry erase boards from my home, right? I'm staying in a hotel, but I have a, a beautiful home. I have two beautiful homes. Actually, and I should have just told her to bring one of my boards from the home. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a. I'm gonna go ahead and give you. You know what I'm saying? One of these sigils. That you need to learn. You need to learn this sigil right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a class on sigil magic for protection alone. That right there. Do a pause on that sigil right there. And draw that out. This is the sigil of the Archangel. Michael. This is the Archangel Michael. When you, when you draw this sigil, this is the vibrational frequency of Michael. But not only is this the vibrational frequency of, of, of Michael, this is Michael. Because everything in the, in the universe is sound of vibration is the very sound of actually of actually taking the time to go like this. That creates a vibrational frequency and sound. The very sound of that. The very sound of, of, of doing it. I'm doing this upside down, so bear with me. But the very sound of that is actually a, a, a casting call. It's calling for the Archangel Michael to come. Just the very sound of doing this. Just the very sound of this. So not only is this the sigil of the Archangel Michael, but this in essence is the Arch, Arch, Archangel Michael. That's how strong sigil magic is. That's how strong sigil magic is. So I'm going to be doing a, 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 a number of different sigils of what you can do to protect your, 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 uh, your scripts to where when you do your sigils, when you when you write your script out, just put your sigil magic, just put your sigil right there. And and that's the sacred geometry that's gonna protect your shit. And certain numbers and certain colors and so on and so forth. Look, turn off your TV and turn on your mind. Go down to some water and clear your mind. Get your mind clear. They got a place out here called Clear Lake. I'm finna go camp out by Clear Lake. And just camp there and just be by the lake, the clear lake. It's called Clear Lake for a reason. I told you, uh, astrology is not dealing with just the zodiac signs. Astrology is in, in location too. You got to go to certain locations. You have to. Because those geographical locations hold energy. 
you need to go to Phoenix, Arizona because it represents the legend of the Phoenix bird. The Phoenix lives 400 years. Every turn of the century, it burns up. And from the ash fire, recreates itself and comes from the ash. And flies again and lives for another century. I had to go to Phoenix, Arizona when I was recreating myself. When I was reinventing myself. Thirteen and inky. I've been doing some sun gazing. You know what I'm saying? I've been getting all the way naked and putting my my my, my left hand right here by on oh, by my vein like this on my thing like this, forming a P and looking up at the sun barefooted with my feet in the ground and looking up at the sun and speaking to um to Inky, Inky, the Anunnaki Inky, getting all kind of downloads from Inky. Then I start seeing like a white, like bright white light just come all the way to me. All kind of information from Inky going like this, forming like a P. See that? Forming like a P. I've been speaking to the Palladians too, going just like this. Thirteen and Inky, thirteen. All of that Mason shit. Look, man, I'm taking off my 13 back. I don't give a fuck. They say that that's a, 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 a chant for the Masons. All right. Let the motherfuckers come. I got a nigga, nigga, nigga. All for they motherfucking ass. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Get your motherfucking ass up out of here. Nigga, 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 nigga. I told you, words are interdimensional. Every time I say nigga, this is what's popping up. This nigga guy with them nigga serpents, snakes right there. With the wings. This is the highest angel. It's a seraphim. They sit at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. The center of the Milky Way galaxy. I brought it right there to the temple to let you know what time it is, man. My temple is protected. And this is the eye of Aru. That's the third. That's the that's the third eye open. The third eye. But then it's the eye of a hurrah. That's the Horus eye right there. Nega, 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 nega. Every time I say words are interdimensional. So every time I say Naga, guess what's popping up? This Naga serpent. Naga, Naga, Naga. It's amazing. It's amazing that you can create mazes and matrix. You can create it. It's amazing that you can stand outside of that shit. We don't even got to live in that shit. You can live in your paradigm. That's the whole shit. You can live all the way in your paradigm. You can create a paradigm and live in this shit. You can look. You can create five paradigms. Just grab five different rocks. Oops. Grab five different rocks. I apologize, rock. You can grab five different rocks and program them with five different... Uh, Five different um, paradigms. Create a write a script out for these rocks, and breathe life into your script, and then create trigger words or keywords that will unlock these. You know what I'm saying? And then watch the whole world that you create come before you. That's how powerful you are. You are a solar being. We children of the sun and the moon and the stars. Don't forget, man. I come back to kick this shit, man. It's the third, the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light. You know what I'm saying? 13 Cosmic Law Astrology. You know what I'm saying? Nappy ass beard, long hair, written the pair of tips. Don't forget what time it is. You need to be mindful of what's going on. You need to be mindful of what's going on. I call you God. I call you goddess because you know thyself. I call you God. I call you goddess because you know thyself. I keep telling you, go within. Get you some monoatomic gold. Get you some monoatomic gold and put that in your atmosphere. Get you a mon some monoatomic gold. Go to D Health Store. D Health Store. Go to YouTube and log on to D Health Store. Tehuti Mah Mahatma. That's one of my, my, my teachers. That's one of my teachers. Nega, 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 nega. 
nigga, 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 Iggy, speak to me. Iggy, speak to me. Iggy, speak to me. Go to D Health Store. Get you a full body detox. Get you some blue green algae. You know what I'm saying? Get you some mono and time go. I love you. 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 I'm Lord Yukili Osa Nu Ra. You know what I'm saying? Elohim, Mira Mor, El Sadai. You know what I'm saying? Nega, 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 nega. You know what I'm saying? More love, more light, more power, more honor. You know what I'm saying? More God, more goddess. I'm going to put the goddess on my name too. I'm going to represent that feminine energy. I'm going to represent that feminine energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get in that vibrational wave. I'm gonna put I'm gonna, I'm gonna call myself, you know what I'm saying? Nega, 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 nega. I banish all demonic energies. Nega, nega, I'm gonna put the goddess on my name just to get that, you know what I'm saying? Just to get that uh that 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 that, that vibrational frequency going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put the god I'm gonna put the goddess on my name. I'm Van Kim Akashic Records. I'm goddess Van Kim Akashic Records. That's my name. I'm Van Kim. Van, V-A-N, Kim, K-I-M, Akashic, A-K-A-S-H-I-C, Records, Goddess. I'm Goddess Van Kim Akashic Records. That's my name. That's the frequency that I carry. I carry the frequency of the Akashic Records. I carry the frequency of Van Kim, which is the air element and the fire element. Van Kim Akashic Records, and I'm the goddess, that pre-mortal dark energy, that's my name, goddess Van Kim Akashic Records, you know what I'm saying, that's my name, that's the frequency I'm on right now, 13, broadcasting to you on behalf of 13 Cosmic Mysteries and Light, and the University of Cosmic Mysteries, and, and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light, and 13 Cosmic Law Astrology, and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light, you see the mark of God right there, see that mark of God right there, you know what I'm saying, my antenna beard, my Ethan Nye, man, you know what I'm saying, I call you God, I call you Goddess, because you know thyself, keep going within, I love you, 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 and I need you to survive, I need you to survive, you 